The Kamov Ka-60 was a Russian utility helicopter. It was nicknamed Kasatka, Killer Whale. It was designed to replace the Mi-4 and to take some of the roles from the venerable Mi-8 and take some of its roles. In the 1980s the Mi-8 was the most widespread transport helicopter in Soviet service. However in many cases the Mi-8 was too large for its role and was flying half-loaded. So the Ka-60 was designed to carry around half the load of the Mi-8. Development of the new helicopter began in 1983. Both Kamov and Mill Design Bureaus issued their proposals. In 1984 the Kamov Design Bureau won the project and development of the Ka-60 began. However development was very long due to various reasons, including collapse of the Soviet Union, technical issues and funding problems. First prototype was completed in 1997. It was first publicly revealed in 1998 and made its first flight during the same year. The second prototype made its first flight in 2007. Only two prototypes of the Ka-60 were ever made. In 2010 one of the prototypes crashed. This effectively stopped the program of the original Ka-60. In its original form this helicopter received no production orders. There were some development problems. The Ka-60 had traditional layout with a large main rotor and a tail rotor. However the Kamov Design Bureau specialized in naval helicopters with coaxial contra-rotating rotors that had no tail rotor. So the Ka-60 was not their typical project. Typical Kamov helicopters with like the Ka-25, Ka-27 anti-submarine warfare helicopters or Ka-31 airborne early warning helicopters were hovering most of their flight time. Typical Army utility helicopter hovers only around 1% of its flight time. So configuration with coaxial rotors was abandoned in favor of traditional one. The Ka-60 could carry 14 troops. Surge capacity was 16 troops. For medical evacuation missions it could carry 6 stretchers and 3 medical attendants. This helicopter could carry 2T of cargo internally or 2.7T externally. This helicopter could be fitted with various weapons, including pods with machine guns and unguided rockets, mounted on removable external hardpoints. These weapons can be used to soften enemy defenses before landing troops. The Ka-60 was powered by Saturn RD, 600V engines, developing one 500 shop each. Development of these engines began in 1989. However there were problems with these engines. First prototype of the Ka-60 had a four-blade main rotor. The second prototype had a five-blade main rotor. Variants. Ka-60U was a proposed training version. Ka-60K was a proposed naval version. Ka-60R was a proposed reconnaissance version. Ka-62 is a civilian version with revised cabin, larger windows, new engines, five-blade main rotor and new avionics. As far as there were problems with Satran's RD, 600V engines of the Ka-60, developers were looking for new engines. In 2011 an agreement was signed with Turbomica, now Safran Helicopter Engines, to use their Artiban 3G turbo shafts, developing one 751 shop. The helicopter was also fitted with new transmission. Payload capacity on civilian helicopter was reduced to 2T internally and 2.5T externally. Russian MOD planned to obtain the Ka-62 helicopters. A first batch of 16 helicopters was planned. However production of a helicopter for the Russian with many Western components, including engines and avionics, was unlikely due to sanctions imposed on Russia. The Ka-62 is still being developed. The third Ka-62 prototype took off in 2019. Ka-64 was a proposed civilian export version of the Ka-62.